you don't know anything about boat. Hey guys, so I was gonna do a quick video today different. showing you my intro cinder. I thought I'd do a quick video on that. I use a different so one for my for the top of the platform. But really Hey guys, I wanted to come at you real quick with a, a little video today. We've got less than, I think we got 13 days left till deer season starts here in Georgia. And I've got everything done. I've been going through all my stuff, working on my, make sure all my equipment's ready to go. I've got everything, testing all my gear, making sure everything's good. The last thing I always do right before the season starts is uh, my clothes. So what I do is I'll go through and I will wash all my clothes that no scented stuff and then a couple of years back so i was doing that already and then a couple of years ago when i first started i had been hunting very long a few years but when i first started the first two seasons it seemed like every time i turned around i was getting busted they were picking me off they're smelling me it didn't matter what i done it just didn't seem to be working so i started doing this and ever since i started this i have not been picked off yet as far as them smelling me like getting downwind of me and freaking out and taking off i've i mean i've had them spot me because i moved at the wrong time or something like that and spooked them but i've never had one bust me scent wise since then maybe i've just been lucky i don't know but this is what works for me and so this is what i do and it's what i'm gonna keep doing i've got all my clothes everything that i will wear from the start of the season to the end of the season i got a ratchet strap run from the tree house all the way over to this other tree and i hang all my clothes up there after i've washed them with the scent free stuff i've got my socks and thermals and stuff some stuff hung over there and then i got a fire going right there i'll start a fire in that pit and just let that smoke just sit there and cover them clothes and it's so strong i don't know if the smell of the smoke is so strong that it covers everything but where i deer hunt all, all around here a lot of people in the in the winter time still heat with wood and so it's not an unfamiliar smell to those deer smoke it doesn't seem to bother them it doesn't spook them or anything like that and that smell is so strong i'm sure it co it covers up anything i'm putting off and the way i do it is i'll smoke all my stuff and i'll wear it say opening weekend i'll wear it saturday and sunday whatever i wear the rest of the stuff will stay in a tote until i need it just an old walmart tote not even an expensive scent containing tote or anything like that i'll just stuff i fold everything up stick it down in the tote and then i put a ratchet strap around the tote keep the lid closed tight i'll put my backpack in there with my clothes my saddle everything and see i've even got my backpack hung up over here catching some smoke my saddle so i'll have everything that i have in that tote with that smoke smell and so far it seems to work for me I don't know i've heard a lot of people say i'm crazy it don't work or whatever but i thought i look at it like this how many years did the indians go around killing deer and they didn't have all this fancy uh sent away stuff and all this fancy gadgets to cover up their scent stuff like that so i don't know it it works for me like i said i've got most of my hunting clothes are just cheapo stuff walmart academy bargain bin stuff five dollar shirts i just bought this new hoodie right here this one here yesterday it was on clearance for like nine bucks i bought a shirt that was on clearance for five bucks one of those scent wicking they're supposed to be moisture wicking material shirts and stuff stuff like that but uh even my my coveralls and stuff none of it is expensive stuff it's all cheaper lower end stuff i don't think you have to have the the highest quality four hundred dollar set of coveralls to kill a deer but anyway that being said that's how I get ready for deer season. You see the smoke going up, covering everything right now. But I'll do that. And it, usually, if I if it's been raining or something, I've got a I've got a wood pile over here under the treehouse that stays in the dry all the time. And if it's been raining or something, and I can't get out here to smoke my clothes, what I'll do is I'll hang everything from on my back porch. I'll hang everything from the rafters, and then I'll set my wife's. Uh, she's got a little small smoker. I'll set in the middle of it, and I'll build a fire in the smoker and hang all those clothes kind of in a circle around that smoker and just let the, the smoke from the smoker do it do it that way but uh 
anyway that's how i get ready for deer season that's my scent control routine and it seems to work pretty good like like i said i'll wear my stuff two weekends tops like if it just depends on how much i sweat like later season when i'm not sweating as much i can go i might can wear it all weekend and then maybe a day of the next weekend or all next week the next weekend before i have to rewash them and re-smoke them and a lot of times like you can wash your stuff with this uh scent away stuff and you can still smell the smoke sometimes even after washing it like it's it's that good and it, it, it seems to cover up my scent pretty good like i said i haven't been busted since i've been doing this and so i'm gonna continue to do it and anyway that's where i'm at i'm i've got everything else on my list to get ready before season opens the 11th so i just wanted to i had i've seen a few people doing this kind of stuff on the on the internet i've seen a few people smoking clothes and stuff like that i don't i don't think anybody's ever even come back and said yeah it worked or no it didn't or i've just seen a few people saying they were going to try it but that's what i've done for the last several seasons and it's worked good for me so that's that's the way i'm gonna keep rolling anyway i'll uh i'll catch you guys in the next one it may be it may be opening day before i post another video on here i'm running out of things to to shoot a, a video on right now i've done about everything i could do it's too late in the season or too too close to season to get out scouting and so i'm just kind of waiting on opening day and wrapping a few little odds and ends up before it gets here and that was one of them and i figured i got a buddy of mine that's wanting to start smoking his clothes and he was wanting me to do a video on it so he could kind of see what i had going on and how i went about it so i'll catch you guys in the next one like i said maybe maybe it'll be opening day maybe a little sooner anyway i'll see you guys later thanks